Hi guys, um, I am going to show you today how to merge letters into a word and do some basic text manipulation in SOAP Pro. Um, what I've done here, I have uh, opened my first letter. I'm going to be writing the letter, the word birthday. Um, so I've opened the letter B. This uh, font is golden um, and I got it eight, uh, eight um, claws and a paw. Um, so the way that I do this is um, open the first letter and then click on this little icon here that says that shows a um, uh, a little folder, and you will be able to see the 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 letters that are in that folder with my B. Um, in this case, my golden alphabet um, come in one inch, two inch, and three inch. So you see mul multiple letters, and it just means that the first set is one inch, the second set is two inches, and the third set is three inches. Um, some people separate them in different folders, but um, I'm okay. I, I can sort of play with it, and if I bring in the wrong letter, I just undo and, and start over. Anyway, so the way that I would write this is um, I have the B, and I just click on I, and it will put it right next to it. And I'll just keep clicking on the letters. Um, Bertha H. Um, and uh, Y. There you go. So I'll center this icon, um, this little red icon here, centers the pattern in the hoop. Um, you see that, let me just click out of here. Yeah, center that in the hoop. Um, my Y is a little bit higher because the way that it was digitized. Um, so you just click on it, and I'm using my arrows to just bump it down, or you can just drag it down, but the arrows, I think, do a little bit more precise. Um, maybe just a little bit more. Um, I don't like the way that it's so close to that A, so I'll just move it to the side a tad, and I'm going to do the same with uh, some of these others. I mean, you may like the way that it's really touching, but... Um, I'll just play with my letters until I have the spacing that I like. Um, that's probably a little bit too close to. There. So now I'm going to turn off my alphabet. And you can see that um, each letter is a color stop. Um, so when I hit control and click on that, and I can keep clicking, and you can see that each letter is a color stop. Well, that's okay. Um, but the problem with that, with that is that if I want to write that all in one color, my machine will stop, and I'll have to hit go with each letter and that's normally not very convenient. Um, one of the things that you can do when you have them in different color stops is you can make like something really funky and you can create an alphabet that has uh, all kinds of, or a word that has all sorts of different letters if, if that's the look you're going for. Um, I normally don't work that way so I'm just going to undo until they're all um, blue again. Yeah, there you go. Alrighty, so what I want to do, um, well, before we join them, we can join them, but before we join them, another neat trick that um, people use, although I tend not to use it so much, is arching the text. So if you want to curve your text, um, the icon to use is this little ABC with a sort of a little hat. Um, when you click on that, you have to select your text first, sorry. Select your text, make a big window, and then click on the curve icon and it'll give you some funky shape. You say, okay, that's not exactly what I want to do. So play um, with these settings. You can see that's going the wrong way, but I'm pushing this arrow up. Oh, too far. Uh, probably zero, so birthday. And then the top arrows um, will make this a bigger or smaller radius so you can make it really tight I hope you can see it on my screen or you can make it um, quite a bit flatter so the the top one this this top control um, does your radius of that curve the second one controls where your your wording starts so if you're following some sort of funky path you can move it around um, I think we had it on zero here so um, let me go put it back that way. So go all the way to zero and then that's straight on your screen. I think that that looks all right. You can also arch it down. Oh, that's really tight. But again, if you play with the controls, you will get it to do, um, to do what you need. So there you go, birthday. 
they're still all separate color stops. Okay, so to make this into a single word that my machine will sew all together, all I have to do is click on Edit, Join Threads, um, and you can also hit Control J, um, but I tend to use the menus more than the keyboard. Um, join Threads, join all adjacent threads of the same color. So toggle that on, click OK, and now my word is all one color stop and it'll sew all together when I send it to the machine. Um, you can save it and you can send it to your machine and that's um, all there is. I hope you enjoy. Happy sewing.